Mmm. All right, I recommend this. Really good. So today in Classy Kitchen Office Edition, I have a very special guest. Uh, she is just an all-around badass, but she's a three-time Olympian and has run more marathons than she can probably count in record time. And she's here today at the Classy office and she's going to, well, she's standing right here. I'll introduce her. Her name is Jen Rhymes. And uh, I, yes, welcome to my kitchen. Thank you. I'm going to step up to get on Carly's level for our cooking today. It's just brutal to stand <laughs> next to me for everyone. But Jen is small but mighty and super fast. How fast did you run your quickest marathon? My best marathon is two hours, 29 minutes. And I've been training for the New York City Marathon the last few months, and Jen has been my running coach and been giving me advice on how to run uh, and also how to eat. And that's another really important part of being an athlete. Absolutely, it's such a huge part of distance running and both getting the proper fuel in before you're going out the door and replenishing after the training. So we're gonna make two delicious recipes. This one is slightly more <laughs> indulgent and it's a yummy almond butter chocolate chip brownie. Yes. And the second one is a really good smoothie. It's a great post-run recovery smoothie because mm -hmm. it has lots of antioxidants in it, which we'll get into more later. Yum, I'm sold. Okay, let's get to it. Guys, because we're in the classy office, we don't have an oven yet. We've got a really cute little toaster oven over here. You know. So you wanna grease your pan. We just used butter. You can use coconut oil, you can- Parchment paper. Use parchment paper, anything. But you wanna grease your pan and set that aside and turn your oven to- 350. 350. Okay, so brownies, how do we make them? I'm gonna eat the ingredients while I watch. <laughs> so, super easy. We basically can put, we're gonna put everything in the bowl, seven ingredients except the chocolate chips. Yes, I will hold the chocolate right. chips and eat them well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the coconut flour. Next, this is coconut sugar, quarter cup. And baking soda is gonna be half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Love. And just a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Right, one, one egg. egg. And this is our cup of the almond butter. Ooh, yum. So we're combining it all. It looks so good. You guys can't smell this, but let me tell you, it's good. So you can throw the chocolate chips on top. Half a cup of chocolate chips? Sometimes I do a few extra. Half to, we'll go half to three quarters. <laughs> I'm useless. I'm just eating the dough no, and watching. Just... All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven for 10 we're gonna minutes. We're gonna go 10 to 15 minutes in this oven. Perfect, <laughs> okay. While that's cooking, we are gonna make another one of your original recipes. Yes. Which is a little bit healthier, and it's a smoothie with really good superfoods. Yes, I love basically every ingredient in this. The pumpkin mm -hmm. has lots of vitamin A. We have the turmeric, mm -hmm. which is yeah, a great, uh, really powerful antioxidant. We have both mm -hmm. ginger and cinnamon, which are both antioxidants and really good for digestion. And that's one other thing, sometimes if you do a really hard long run, your stomach might be upset. So these can mm -hmm. help you out with, with digestion for those runners out there. And then we have our coconut milk and the raw honey, which is also great antioxidant. And if it's local, it can help with allergies and the immune system in general. This is really, really good. So all great to stuff. Know. So we'll start off with the pumpkin. This is a half cup of pumpkin. This is our coconut milk, and this is a cup. Three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric. Throwing that in. And then a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Quarter teaspoon of ginger. Mm -hmm. And lastly, our raw honey. Why is it so healthy? Just because it's local, it's gonna just give you some immune support for allergens that may be in your area. Okay, so now how much ice do we add to this? If it's large ice cubes and about four or five ice cubes. No judgment yeah. zone here. This is my favorite uh, healthy. Woo! Okay, this is dangerous. That could have gone a lot worse. Four or five ice cubes. Okay, ready? Now we'll just puree it all. Yes. Something is not going well. Mmm. Um, we're split skiing this one, Jen. Because half of it ended up on the kitchen counter. We're splitting it. Perfect. Okay, well now we can enjoy this. Um, mm. Ooh. It's 
nice and creamy. Yeah, it's very good. That's really good. Okay, I might not share, actually. <laughs> uh, but our brownies, I think, are almost done. Oh, yum. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, these look amazing. <laughs> the moment of truth. Yeah, I'm really excited. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. This is uh, the motivation to keep going on those long runs is because you get to eat all of the... It's a great reward. Brown is what you want. Mm. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.